The Anasazi's restaurant new small plates menu is taking the Santa Fe dining experience to a whole new level with Spanish tapas inspired executive <coughs> chef Juan Bochensky's Argentinian roots. And Chef Bochensky joins us back in our Builders First Kitchen. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? It's been a while. That was a mouthful to say. Sorry about that. It's really good to have you back. I love that you bring your roots and your culture to New Mexico yes. and you infuse kind of different kinds of tastes. Yes, I've just been back from Argentina so I just get a few ideas yeah. to more sharing tapas menu more uh, uh, for the patio which is which is what we're trying to do. Tell us more about the tapas menu as well as the summer barbecue fair that I understand you have as well. Yes, we, we, we're going to do some barbecue as well and we, okay. we have here uh, some tapas that uh, we, we showcase. We have uh, a cheese platter uh, with the so different beautiful. local, regional, international cheeses that we, ch we change on a weekly basis. Oh. We have uh, a combination of pork scallops, that looks fantastic. chorizo as well, so it's sugotash is very nice as well. Oh. Of course, we have some empanadas uh, mm. coming from Argentina. I was just so. going to say, that's my favorite Argentinian thing in the world, so, yeah. empanadas. So we have, you can see the different shapes, the different shapes t tells you that the feeling is different. So this is caprese, which is very Italian influence in Argentina, yes. and this is a buffalo, is something from Santa Fe as well. So oh, nice. we, mix, we mix some cultures there. So Thank again, you. I love how you do that. You take you know the international flair and the flavors, yeah. and then you bring them to New Mexico and incorporate local ingredients yeah. as well, which is really good. Is that so? What is more popular? Which empanada would you recommend, or what do you? Uh, you well, this is like? vegetarian. This is buffalo. Oh. This is very popular as well. But uh, so you uh, vegetarian, do vegetarian, yeah, as well. Yes, yes, and all these. Items going to be featured in the patio, which is uh, the summer is here, so the patio is a great, great spot at an Asasi to stay. Oh, yes. So uh, have a and spend some time there. So, yeah, we welcome. You everyone. have to love the atmosphere, yeah. right? I mean, between the atmosphere, the service, and the food, it's a it's a winning combination. And I know when we look at some of these different things that you're serving, there are those people who entertain at home, and they want to know how can we do it like the chef? How can we do it like Chef Pochensky? So tell us, can viewers do this at home? On their own? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is this is a this is a very simple ceviche we do at the restaurant. Okay. Uh, ceviche is just uh, uh, fresh fish. Uh, it's cooked in lemon juice. Okay. And it takes about 15 minutes just to cure the uh, co cook the fish in lemon juice. Okay. So this is already a cure, start the curing process, and this is already uh, cooked. So I just strain the lemon juice, discard the lemon juice, and okay. I keep the the fish. And basically, we just have here mango salsa. Mm. Pico de Gallo, and a few garnishes you just kind of put together. Oh, yes, please so, do that because I love every ingredient you've got. So, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of olive oil, mm. a little bit of Pico de Gallo. And I guess the yes, lemon mango kind salsa. of helps with it, it kind of offsets the fishy taste, right? That's right. So, mm -hmm. uh, you got to make sure that the fish is fresh yeah. and uh, as well. Uh, and once you marinate with the lemon juice, it's perfect. Oh, yeah. And they just find the right balance. A bit of jalapeno as well, so it give it a bit of spiciness. Is that a Pico uh, de Gallo? Pico de Gallo, okay. yeah. Mm. And so basically, yeah, just mix it together. It smells so fantastic. So yeah. now all of these different ingredients, I mean, they're special ingredients. Do you recommend where people here can get them? Yeah, I mean, uh, any supermarkets, local supermarkets should have, uh, this okay. is avocados, mango salsa, it's just bell peppers and mango. The recipe we already have, uh, you have it as on well, so mm -hmm. on the website. Uh, this is uh, mango, oh. this is um, tomato gazpacho pels we do at the restaurant. I can provide also the recipe. So basically, we just put it there. That's one of my favorite things, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I think you tried it before, yeah? I did. I, I think I ate a whole bowl of it last time. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> OK, so then you so, put it in the bowl. Yeah, and then we put a little bit of uh, avocado mousse mm. in the middle. And then we just garnish with whatever. We have some red radish here. We just. I was, I was asking him before the show, I said, you know, coming back to the States, how was it? And you said, it's just so good to be back in a smaller yeah. town, <laughs> a little quieter, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I want to say it's, it's, uh, it's a nice place. I recommend to go for, for holidays, uh, but yes. it's good to be back in a, good to be back. yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you mentioned just before the patio, let's talk a little bit about that again, because I know people will want to come on out and experience the summertime at Anasazi. Tell us again about the yeah, patio. Yeah, well, we opened the patio for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. Uh, this menu start about 2 o'clock and, and oh, okay. to 11 o'clock, so you can be there all day if oh, you want. Oh, nice. uh, And we, we pair all these beautiful dishes with, uh, with our bar manager, uh, James, so right. he's, he's, he has a beautiful cocktails. Oh, I'm so sure, yes. If you have, uh, <laughs> Margarita is one of my favorites there, so I like to 
I'll, I'll have to join you for one of those for Please sure. Please do so. And, and now I also notice, okay, you know, I'm always looking at the carbs. I notice over there, is that like a wonton kind of a cracker? With crispy wontons, oh. it, it, it comes uh, together with the uh, ceviche. So. Oh, that's delicious to do the little so, dip. Yeah. Now yeah. I want everybody to be able to come in. I know some will try to make it at home, but it probably won't be quite as good as the way Juan does it. So let's tell them where the Anastasia is located. Yeah, we are in, uh, in Washington Avenue, next to the next to the plaza, okay. uh, right uh, right in downtown in Santa Fe. So it's very convenient located. So it, wh whoever want to come and join us, yes. please do so. Thank you. And do you recommend reservations, or can people just come on in? No, come on in, come on okay. in. It's just without reservations, the patio. So, uh, but it's open breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So. Fantastic. Well, it's a pleasure to have you back here, and it's going to be even more of a pleasure when we come back because we get to eat. Don't go away. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It smells so good. Today's chef appearance is sponsored in part by Ben E. Keith Food Service Distributors. And we're back in the kitchen with Executive Chef Juan Buczynski from Anasazi in Santa Fe. So tell us one more time what you've made for so us. So this ceviche um, marinated with lemon juice, avocado puree, and um, mm. jicama, tomato gazpacho pels, and some sprouts. Sweet and sour, oh. the apples, so I give it a bit of sweetness. Oh, I love it. Oh, yes, oh, I we love do. it already. Can we? I'm, yes, I'm please bringing go it ahead. over. We have to try it with you. the crispy wontons, too. And we want to thank all of you so much for joining us today. And we'll have a lot more for you tomorrow morning. In fact, I do believe that we are still going to get it, an opportunity to talk to Susan Lucci. I'll probably be doing that after today's show, so you'll get a chance to see it tomorrow. All right. Well, I'm glad we got yeah. that all settled. Settled it. Yeah. Well, we have a great day. And of course, for more information, go to our website, casa.com. We're going to taste some food here. Yes. And you have a fantastic morning. We'll see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. Have a great day, everybody. Bye bye. Thank you. Like this, or you want to scoop oh. it? Uh, I'll scoop. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going for it. Yes.